So, now see here the new concept is your radius of gyration. So, what do you mean by radius of gyration? Suppose a body is uh, rotating, any rigid body is rotating about axis here, this is z. The body is lying in x y plane and rotating about z axis, about a fixed axis here. Now, this body is made of a large number of particles, you can say here like this is m having the distance r 1 and r 2 and this is also r 3. R so, each this body is made, made of the n number of particles each of mass m and these particles are at distance r 1, r 2 and like this r n. So, the moment of inertia of this body due to distribution of the mass i is equal to m r 1 square plus m r 2 square plus plus m r n square. So, we can write here m into r 1 square plus r 2 square plus plus r n square. So, we can write m into n because there are n number of particles. So, we can write r 1 square plus r 2 square plus plus r n square divided by n. This can be written total mass. So, the m r 1 square plus r 2 square plus plus r n square divided by n. So, this is the total moment of inertia of the body due to the distribution of the masses around the axis of rotation. Suppose, there is a point P where whole mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated and this is at a distance k from the axis of rotation. So, this point P again take care here. This point P is assumed such that where entire mass of the body is assumed to be concentrated and this is at a distance k from the axis of rotation. So, the moment of inertia of the whole body about this axis of rotation can be written i dash is equal to m k square. It is when I have written, I have taken the point P. Now, if these two moment of inertia are equal i dash and i. So, what we can write here? If you write i dash and i, so you will be getting m k square is equal to here this one m r 1 square plus r 2 square plus plus r n square divided by n. Now, we can write here this thing. We can cancel this m and m. We can get k square is equal to r 1 square plus r 2 square plus plus r n square divided by n and this k is under root of r 1 square plus r 2 square plus plus r n square divided by n. This k is known as radius of gyration. And this see here radius of gyration is also equal to root mean square value of all the perpendicular distances of the particles from the axis of rotation. And this radius of gyration depends on the shape and size of the body. And also you can see the distribution of the masses and axis of the orientation of the axis of the rotation. 